Our tribe, there's a lot of the things that we held as historical and uh, meaningful to us as cultural that we're still putting together. And the canoe was taken to a lab in Greenville, North Carolina, where it will be examined and preserved for its historical relevance. Excellent. Uh, we were laughing because, of course, <laughs> the kids were throwing muscles at each other and they happened to <laughs> That's find how they that found canoe. It. <laughs> they found the history. So kids being kids. I'm you know? <laughs> looking forward to seeing a follow up on this on what they find and kind of the yeah. techniques used. Uh, should be, really be very interesting. interesting. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Quick look outside, everyone. I'm going to get you ready for your Tuesday. We should see some sunshine, wind, and maybe some scattered showers. Your forecast is coming up. Plus, a massive fire in Kennewick set off by small explosions, leaving smoke clouds that could be seen for miles. And Governor Inslee visited Perry Technical Institute to announce new renewable energy projects. Good Morning Northwest continues right now. From Camp KVU Local News, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. I'm Jason Valentine. Welcome to Tuesday. Jill, good morning. Good morning to you. Yes, good morning, friends. <laughs> and uh, we had quite a bit of shower activity. Could see some wet roads. This, we certainly saw wet roads on our drive-in this morning. But uh, we're going to dry up in the morning and then just some very small scattered showers as we get into <laughs> our afternoon and evening. Let's take a look outside. Actually, let's take a look at our radar as the showers have moved off to the east seeing some snow falling even in the areas of Pullman. So folks, it just gives you an idea of how chilly it is throughout our area. So do get ready for another cool day. We're about 10 or so degrees off of our average for all of our cities for our highs. So we are going to see more sunshine than not, but again, scattered showers are expected as we get into the afternoon and evening and 57. So we're about a degree cooler than we were yesterday. We still have that freeze warning for Kittitas and Yakima County to think about this morning until 9 a.m. And that's been extended to Wednesday and Thursday. So folks coming up in my full forecast, going to give you the timing for that scattered showers expected in our PM hours, 15 to 25 mile per hour winds today. And yes, the chilly April continues. That's coming up, but for right now, let's send it back to Jill. Thank you, Jason. We have new information on a shooting that happened at a Circle K in Walla Walla earlier this month. 19-year-old Yahir Malgoza Ochoa has turned himself in to police after allegedly shooting a 20-year-old man in the convenience store parking lot during a fight. Malgoza Ochoa has been booked into the Walla Walla County Jail on charges of attempted murder too. Drive-by shooting, a minor in possession of a pistol and carrying a concealed pistol without a permit. While you might have seen or even heard a fire in Kennewick yesterday afternoon, several agencies responded to a large fire near the Tritec Skills Center in Kennewick, just off of Medaline Avenue. According to the Kennewick Fire Department, the homeowners had natural gas tanks, which set off some small explosions. One person was being treated for possible injuries not related to the gas tanks. Officials say the home is a complete loss. A man's body was found floating in the pond at Sarge Hubbard Park in Yakima on Saturday during a fishing event for children. According to the coroner's office, the man is believed to be around 30 years old and may be connected to a missing persons case. The deputy coroner says based on the autopsy, it doesn't appear to be a homicide, but they have to wait on toxicology results to determine the cause of death. This one I'm sending to a different lab, so hopefully within the month. Compared Authority. to three to four months. Authorities say they're not releasing the man's identity until they can find his family and notify them of his death. Authorities are investigating the death of a woman inside the Yakima County Jail. Jail officials say Clarissa Dittenholler was arrested on suspicion of second degree criminal trespassing Friday and was found unresponsive in her cell Sunday night. They say the Yakima Valley Special Investigation Unit is looking into her death and the jail is doing its own internal investigation. According to the deputy coroner, an autopsy found no signs of trauma and they're waiting on toxicology results to determine her cause of death. Yakima County Sheriff's deputies arrested a suspect Friday in the murder of a woman in Moxie. The woman, now identified as 63-year-old Santos Gloria Reyes from Yakima. Deputies responded to the 2400 block of Duffield Road for a report of a man who allegedly admitted to killing someone. Officers booked the suspect into the Yakima County Jail on suspicion of murder first degree and concealing a body. Anyone with information about this case should contact Detective Beeler at 509-574-2567 or through Crime Stoppers. 
Governor Jay Inslee visited Yakima yesterday, stopping at Perry Technical Institute to announce new renewable energy projects and speak with students being trained in the kind of jobs needed to support clean energy infrastructure. Inslee also announced two solar energy projects moving forward east of Moxie along Highway 24 in Yakima County. The High Top and Ostria solar projects are expected to provide power to 30,000 homes. They'll also provide hundreds of short-term construction jobs and more than a dozen full-time positions. It is going to be known as one of the most wonderful solar generating uh, installations in the world. And we're going to have Perry uh, graduates working on a whole bunch of these projects. They expect to start construction later this year or early next year and hopefully have one of the projects up and running by mid-2025. Jason Valentine returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. Folks, we're waking up to much nicer conditions than we went to sleep with. We're seeing some sunshine this morning, some winds, but also some small scattered showers on the way tonight. I'm going to get you ready for your Tuesday that's coming right up. Plus, there's a new face in the mornings on Cap KVU as Live with Kelly and Mark kicked off this week. At Vapiano, we invite you to slow down, enjoy the journey. Make a reservation today. Taste wine where it's created. Sample a variety of wines from Sauvignon Blanc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, and make it a day to remember. Vapiano Estates, Walla Walla. When great food meets delivery, people just smile. Taste and See Deli in Yakima offers delicious catering that's home cooked like family. And whether you need a dozen box lunches or a hundred breakfast burritos, we've got you covered. Give us a call or stop by. Taste and See Deli. Dear Exit Strategy, all your pieces are in place. A tranquil lake, a serene sky, an emerald forest, a secret hideout. Thanks for being there just when I need you most. Always Toyota SUVs. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan with roadside assistance. Visit your local Toyota dealer to learn more. Reserve yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. Do you have any land that gets no use? Save some money by using an American-made power racking system. It's a more cost-effective option than a standard pole and concrete method. Invest in green energy with the pros at Solar Power Northwest. Solar Power Northwest, a better way to solar. Make your first move with battery power made by steel. Right now, save $50 on the FSA 57 battery trimmer. Real steel. Find yours. At the Blue Mountain Station Cooperative in Dayton, Washington, we offer you the Pacific Northwest's finest local products. Fresh baked goods, locally grown produce, artisan cheese, fresh roasted coffee, wine, honey, and so much more. We invite you to explore Dayton today. When you own a Ford, you get more than a vehicle. You get the benefit of having your vehicle picked up for service. Here for the Explorer. There you go. All right, we'll get it right back to you. This is U Mode. All the convenience of owning a Ford with a local partner, Corwin Ford Tri City. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Day morning. Well, Ryan Seacrest, Crest, excuse me, left the popular Cap K View show live with Kelly and Ryan on Friday. And yesterday was the first day Kelly Ripa's husband, Mark Consuelos, joined her for the all-new Kelly and Mark at 9 a.m. on Cap K View. Here they talk about the show and about being married and working together. I love the spontaneity of the show. I love that you never really know what's going to happen. I love that we have to really, we, we agree on a lot, but we have very different point of views, much like a lot of, you know, husbands and wives. And so that's also, I think, good material for, for the show. He's also not afraid to challenge me, which is, it's fun. <laughs> it will be fun for me because I will. Like a cat and a mouse. Yes. Like, a, <laughs> like yeah. I, I think it's it really, um, for me, what I enjoy most is watching Mark walk into the studio is like watching him come home and 
you know, everybody has a real love for him and a real, like, familial 20 plus years relationship. You can really discuss anything in great detail and not worry about offending the other person at the end of the day. Mm. It's like right. we feel the safest with each other and we yeah. feel the most confident being our full selves in front of one another. And so I think that's really like, it's such a key component to, especially that first 20 minutes of our show, the host chat, sort of the, the you know, the golden triangle of our show is that first 20 minutes and, you know, to be comfortable with somebody, to have um, confidence in their ability to deal with what you're saying or challenge you on what you're saying. I just think it's a really interesting, relatable dynamic because so many of our viewers are married couples, are couples in long-term relationships, people with families. And so I think that it's a, we have a very relatable quality. Of course, Consuelos has been a regular fill-in co-host on Live for more than 20 years, but began his full-time duties yesterday. And of course, you can watch Kelly and Mark live, or live with Kelly and Mark, Wednesday mornings here on 9 o'clock on Cap KVU. Coming up, what if you could get a workout in while your prescriptions are being filled? Well, a Kennewick gym and pharmacy have joined forces just to do that. And folks, I'll return with your first alert weather forecast. I'll get you ready for your Tuesday. That is next. You're watching Cap K View News. Dear 2030, we look forward to seeing you. After our 160 point quality assurance inspection, we'll be Toyota certified used vehicles with seven year, 100,000 mile limited powertrain warranties. Not to honk our own horns, but the best new cars make the best used cars. Yours, Toyota. Get 4.99% APR for up to 60 months on a Toyota Certified Used Camry, Corolla, or RAV4. Find yours at toyotacertified.com. Toyota, let's go places. It's not every day that you can experience award-winning limited production wines selected by industry notables, plus receive advanced news regarding upcoming releases and events. Delight in the convenience of having wines delivered to your door as a member of the Coyote Canyon Wine Club. Your roof protects your home and family every day. Shouldn't it be the best roof possible? With Air Roofing, a family-owned business in Prosser, you'll see why our customer reviews speak for themselves. No job too small, big enough to take care of your roofing needs. Air Roofing, a company built on quality and reputation. Welcome to the Spectrum Lab, where we're bringing you the best in connectivity with Spectrum One. Get Spectrum One with Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, plus your first line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited, free for 12 months. Call 833-823-4999. Spectrum Internet delivers the fastest internet speeds in the nation, so you always have the speed you need for all your connected devices. This guy gets it. Advanced Wi-Fi comes with state-of-the-art security and privacy, which automatically blocks online threats on all your devices. If it's connected, it's protected. Plus, Spectrum Mobile gives you unlimited talk, text, and data on a reliable nationwide network. At Spectrum, we're always working to bring you better ways to connect. You think they noticed the orb? I think so. Get Spectrum One with Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, plus your first line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited, free for 12 months. Call 833-823-4999. Visit Spectrum.com or Spectrum Store today. Imagine a knife taking this much abuse and didn't need sharpening. Introducing the incredible Nutriblade knives, coated with granite stone nonstick and made of stainless steel. One of the hardest substances on earth. Now everyone can chop, slice, and dice just like a pro. Order right now to get this professional six-piece set of Nutriblades for just $29.95. We'll even ship them to you free. Get your own Nutriblade knives, the last knives you'll ever buy. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Now, Cap KV First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Hope you're having a good morning so far. So folks, we do have scattered showers. Nothing like we saw last night. That was the heaviest that we're going to see, at least for the beginning part of our week and most likely for our week ahead. We do have winds picking up today. It looks like it's going to be the windiest day of our week. And boy, that chilly April continues as we are across the board 10 degrees off of where we should be for this time of year. So our Skywatch radar, all the precipitation from last night has moved off into the east. Even a little bit of snow for our friends in Pullman. 
We're still seeing a bit of snow in the Cascades. Uh, they expect to see a little bit more today, uh, probably an inch or so, but nothing to really worry about. Uh, yesterday they saw the bulk. And as we head into our future cast, the morning should be pretty nice. Some sunshine for your morning. Then we're going to see some scattered showers just start to pop up throughout our areas. So do get ready. Possibility of a little bit of shower activity. Best chance will be in Pendleton as we get to our early evening hours. Then as we get to our overnight period, things will settle down. But as we get to tomorrow afternoon, maybe a little bit more substantial sell into the Tri-Cities, Blue Mountain region, Ellensburg and Yakima. Again, this is tomorrow afternoon and just little bits of showers. Then things look to be clearing up as we head into our Thursday. So we'll, of course, keep a close eye on that. We also have that freeze warning continuing this morning. It's been extended to now Thursday morning. So this morning, Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, we have a freeze warning 2 a.m. to 9 a.m. And again, that's for agricultural workers to protect their crops as we expect to see freezing temperatures, or the government does. But we have been a little warmer than expected in Yakima. We've been right around 34 in our 5 o'clock hour, and we're a little cooler, right at 33, 27 right now in Ellensburg. Other than that, we're in the lower 40s to upper 30s. Uh, again, pretty much on par with what we've seen all this week. So for today, average for the Tri-Cities is 67. We are expecting 57 today. Then we're just going to slowly close that gap for the average, possibly a little bit above average for our weekend. But uh, all of our areas are going to be seeing right around 10 degree cooler temperatures for their area. So just chilly conditions for this April. So we're seeing winds starting to kick up. We do expect 15 to 25 mile per hour winds, uh, pretty much widespread, maybe a little less for Ellensburg, Yakima, Toppenish, but still a bit of a blustery day, just 15 to 25 mile per hour. Then it's going to slow down tomorrow. It's really going to start slowing down in our evening hours into our overnight period. Then we'll slow down all the way to pretty much light winds for your Saturday. Then a hint of wind coming as we get into our uh, weekend or excuse me or Sunday and Monday. So folks for our countdown we are looking at tax day. Yes it is today. Have it postmarked if you haven't done so already midnight tonight. NFL draft and ABC is a week from Thursday. Mother's Day 26 days away. So our highs today were a touch chillier than yesterday. Mid 50s for the Yakima Valley 50 for Ellensburg over in the lovely mid Columbia mid to uh, a few upper 50s and mid to lower 50s getting a little cooler even more cooler for the Blue Mountain region. Seven day forecast, we slowly warm up for Yakima. And we're gonna, again, see more sunshine than not for the week ahead. Though again, scattered showers possible tonight and tomorrow, back to those mid 60s for your weekend. In the Tri-Cities area, back to the 60s uh, tomorrow, and then hopefully the 70s by the weekend. We'll keep an eye if that holds. So folks, windy conditions today, 15 to 25 mile per hour, especially in your afternoon. Scattered showers starting this afternoon, but much lighter than we saw yesterday. And yes, that freeze warning continues for Kittitas and Yakima counties till 9 a.m. this morning. Prescriptions and pickleball. The Pacific Clinic in Kennewick opened its micro pharmacy. It is the first gym in the region to do so. Cap KV's Madeline Hagen gives us a behind the scenes look at the concept and the technology being used to save customers time. Upstairs, weightlifting. Downstairs, a pharmacy. Pacific Clinic employees say there are few things you can't accomplish at their gym. We have the sports side of it, the medical side, primary care, physical therapy. Um, adding pharmacy is that one place that you can come to have all your family's needs. On Monday, Pacific Clinic and Doctors Pharmacy celebrated this micro pharmacy. It's overseen by their head pharmacist and run by a technician. General Manager Shayla Harmon says they want to be all encompassing when it comes to health. You come and you do your workout and then you get to see your doctor as well, but that helps you have that preemptive care. We're helping you solve those things beforehand so that you're not having the Oh, hurry quick, let's react to this. It's a, hey, we've already solved that problem. Now let's fix those small things. VJ Reddy with Doctors Pharmacy based out of Richland says it's been their goal to make their services as accessible as possible. So we came up with the new idea where why don't we open instead of a big ones, why don't we open micro pharmacies? This is their second smaller location. Reddy says with their micro pharmacies, they can operate in smaller communities where big box stores won't. We don't want to be a big box. We want to be a mom and pop. 
pharmacist used to be part of the community, right? Reddy says they also want picking up or refilling prescriptions to be more convenient. It's like a one-hour drama every, every week, right? So they utilize this pill pouch packaging robot. Technicians organize pills into different outlets, and the machine creates disposable packets that correlate to when specific pills need to be taken. That service is available to customers at Pacific Clinic. Time and money are the two of the most important things. So if you can come to one place and get your workout and pick up your prescription on your way out, how helpful is that? To see your doctor after you get done with an Aquatus class, amazing. Now you don't necessarily need to be a member of Pacific Clinic to see the on-site provider or use the pharmacy, and most insurance plans are accepted. They're an icon of the Pacific Northwest, and yesterday thousands of them were released into the Columbia River by local students. The 25th Annual Salmon Summit drew in kids from around the Mid-Columbia. It's a part of the Salmon in the Classroom initiative from the Benton Conservation District. PNNL scientists helped students tag their fish before they were released. Now they can track these fish as they grow and make their way to the Pacific. Very interactive for our students here. Another thing that's really cool about what's happening here with PNNL is this whole thing is also simultaneously being live stream broadcast. So I was involved in um, helping to get the word out and getting classes registered for that. So it's been really great to watch those messages come back in. That means classrooms all over Washington can watch these fish travel to the ocean. Local tribes educate the students about the importance of salmon preservation and as a part of their culture. During the two-day event, kids release 4,000 salmon into the river. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, tax day is here. And if you're not quite ready to file, you've still got some options. Priyanka Chopra's Spy Game with Richard Madden. Are you ready? We hit London with the stars of Citadel, their intense stunt training, and Priyanka's emotional trip to India with her baby girl. Next Extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Cap KVO. Time for a new roof? Let Eminent Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. With the rain and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roofing replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. Homeowners, Washington is moving to renewable power. Consider an investment in green energy. Rooftop solar with Solar Power Northwest, a true one-stop shop. Solar Power Northwest, a better way to solar. When it comes to supplying the farm, come to Northwest Farm Squad. Keep the flock healthy and happy with the largest selection of Purina around, plus all the equipment you need to keep the farm running right. And we have the best customer service, we really do. Northwest Farm Supply in Hermiston, Prosser, and Othello. Pure Filtration Products is your Inland Northwest air quality specialist. We offer filtration products for all your commercial, industrial, and manufacturing needs. From cooling towers to industrial dust collection systems, commercial buildings, schools, hospitals, or manufacturing facilities, we have you covered. Call today and schedule your free facility site evaluation. We'll send a certified air filter specialist to your site to evaluate your filter requirements. Call or click today. Pure Filtration Products. Get a great deal and the best prices of the year. Now at Overture Kia, you'll find a great selection of new vehicles in stock now. A 2023 Kia Soul LX with automatic transmission starts at just $19,999. Plus, get interest rates as low as 2.9%. Take delivery today or reserve a car that's on its way. Shop online anytime at OverturfKia.com. Overture Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. Next ET. Hello, I'm Clay Aiken. And I'm Ruben Starter. And, and we're, we're spilling, spilling the ET. The Idol alums on their 20 year friendship. So, what was your first impression of me? Next <laughs> ET. Tonight at 7 on Cap KVO. Live with Kelly and Mark today at 9 on Cap KVO. Welcome back at 623 on this Tuesday morning. Well, today is tax filing deadline. Did you file your taxes? Here's ABC's Alexis Christophorus. It's tax day. If you can't file by midnight, don't freak out. It's okay. You're going to want to file an extension. 
You can file an extension on irs.gov via the free file software. You don't need to provide a reason why. This will give you until October 16th to file your tax return. An extension gives you more time to file your returns, but it doesn't give you more time to pay the government if you owe money. So if you owe, you owe tonight at midnight. And the question is, well, I didn't do my taxes, so I don't know if I owe or not. Uh, but for most people, their tax situation is more or less the same than it was in the previous year. So you want to put in whatever you paid us last year, plus maybe a little bit more to pad it. You'll get that back as a refund once we process your tax return. If you're getting a refund, you should see your money in 21 days or less, even sooner if it's direct deposit. We've been hearing that the IRS is largely sticking to that timetable this year. So that's an improvement over last year. You can track your refund with the IRS website's Where's My Refund tool. One little tip here, just check it once a day because it only updates once a day, usually at like three o'clock in the mornings. And if you're not sure what to do with your refund check, consider paying off high interest debt or boosting your savings. For many people, you may want to do some of both. You pay off some of this high interest debt and you set money aside for that proverbial rainy day. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York. Vehicles for or EV tax credits will kick in and it means that fewer cars will qualify for that entire 7500 credit. The Treasury Department says 16 models made by Tesla, Ford, GM and Stellantis, which owns Jeep and Chrysler, will qualify for at least half of the tax credit and potentially the entire thing. Nine models, including vehicles made by Hyundai and Nissan, will no longer qualify for the EV tax credit, although that could change if they bring factories to the United States. Coming up next, the city of Dadeville is still reeling after a gunman opened fire at an Alabama Sweet 16 party, killing four people and leaving over 30 injured. Good Morning Northwest continues right after this. The last thing you want people thinking about when they're in their golden years is money. We have a new family member living with us, which is my mother-in-law, Kathleen. She has had MS since my husband's been six. We have our caregivers that come into the home and help out with her. She gets showers every day. Walk Cares is a really unique program. As you get older, you're still cared for and you're still valuable. It's just great to know that if you need it, Walk Cares will be there for them. What is a leader? Someone who has backbone, resilience, determination, to put a stake in the ground and get their hands a little dirty. Arrow Construction Supply has been the Northwest's leading provider of asphalt, concrete, and erosion control industries. From homeowner do-it-yourself to large commercial projects, we have everything for sale or rent to get the job done. Your locally owned and operated Arrow Construction Supply, leading the way and hitting our mark for 30 years. Hi, I'm Gino from Italostone. We just received a new container of quartz, Britannica Gold, made in the USA. Visit our Italostone today to see, touch and choose from a huge inventory in stock. At Italostone, we measure, fabricate and install your kitchen and bath countertops in five to seven days. No one can beat Italostone prices apples to apples. Here at Italostone, we are with you every step of the way. Where's the most mouth-watering pizza and best salad bar in town? Well, Hubby's Pizza, of course. And with a lunch special starting as low as $10.49 for a two-topping peewee pizza and a medium drink, why go anywhere else? Delicious mouth-watering food with only the freshest ingredients. It's lunchtime and I'm going to Hubby's Pizza, a hometown favorite for nearly 45 years. Spring into action and save on stressless seating at Meredith Furniture. Now get $400 off all classic power recliners, signature base recliners and ottomans, and cross base recliners and ottomans. And get $400 off most sofas and love seats. Imagine how much you can save building your dream sectional. Shop Meredith Furniture at First in Washington in front of Hobby Lobby. 
You heard a screech outside at night, but you can't see what it is because there's not enough light. You need the Bionic Floodlight from Bell & Howell. The solar-powered, motion-activated, multi-directional floodlight. The versatile, wireless, safety, security, and outdoor lifestyle light you'll love. And right now, it's yours for just $29.99. And the shipping is free. Order now and we'll send a second Bionic Floodlight. Just pay a separate fee. Here's how to order. Call 1-800-248-8281 or order online at bionicfloodlight.com. Live with Kelly and Mark today at 9 on Cap KVU. Authorities in Alabama are searching for a suspect in a mass shooting at a Sweet 16 party that left four dead and dozens injured. And a disturbing TikTok challenge results in the death of a 13 year old boy. What you need to know about the Benadryl challenge next. Some areas in a freeze warning this morning. Light scattered showers later today, but some sunshine to wake up to. I'll get you and your family prepared with my first alert weather forecast. From Camp KV Local News, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. And I'm Jason Valentine. Good morning to you. Good morning, Jill. Good morning. We've made it to Tuesday. Yes. It's tax day. Don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> and tax day Tuesday. Tax day Tuesday. You got it. And we do have some sunshine this morning, but uh, we're going to see a little more clouds as we get along in the day. And nothing like last night, but we could see a little more scattered showers and a little more winds today as well. Let's take a look outside. Beautiful look at our well, Skycam at the Legends Casino in Toppenish. Folks, we do have some clearing as we get into the morning hours. You could have some wet roads from those showers overnight last night, but things have definitely settled down. We see all of that shower systems moving off into the east right here. Uh, a little bit of snow for Pullman this morning, uh, but looking nice for our areas, at least for the moment. We do expect to see some very, very small scattered showers as we get into our afternoon and evening hours. So for the Yakima region, we're going to see mostly sunny skies today. We're a touch cooler. We're across the board, 10 degrees off our average temperatures for this time of year. So we are right at 54 today. For the Tri-Cities, we're staying cooler as well, 57. And in Walla Walla, we're going to be right in those mid to lower 50s today. So in my full forecast coming up, we're going to talk about the timing for that scattered rain. Have a windy afternoon and early evening, folks, ahead, and chilly April continues. That's my full forecast, but let's right now send it back to Jill. An Alabama community is mourning the loss of four young people killed after a shooter opened fire on a Sweet 16 birthday party. At least 32 people were injured during the shooting, with at least 15 being treated at hospitals. CNN's Victor Blackwell reports. It was a nightmare. A nightmare. I just, it's just something, that, a nightmare that I don't wish on any parent that just goes to go in and, and to see my baby laying there, you know, in, in a pile of blood. A mother in mourning over the death of her young son, Phil Stavius Dowdell, killed in a mass shooting at her daughter's Sweet 16 party. Her daughter, 16-year-old Alexis Dowdell, tried to save her brother's life. They cut the light on and they seen that it was his body laying right there. And then that's when everybody just broke down crying. And it was people laying outside in front. I had ran in and I had um, picked my brother up and I turned them over. And I was telling him, um, I was like, you fine. I was like, you gonna make it, you strong. Police are asking the public for any information about the attack. They have released very little so far. Four lives were lost in the tragic event that occurred here. The DJ at the party told CNN that he did not see a fight or commotion before the gunfire began. I just had to try to make sure everybody around me was safe, so I put a couple people on the table in front of me. But the shots were going off behind me. Latanya Allen was also shot. Earlier in the night, she'd warned the group that there were rumors of someone with a gun. When I turned the lights on and I asked for his mic, and I, um, someone was saying someone was in there with a gun. So I got on the mic and I said, if anyone in here has a gun, then you need to leave because we are here to celebrate unless it's Sweet 16. We are not here for no, for no drama or anything. A talented senior with a football scholarship described as the hometown hero. Phil just told me about a month ago. So, Coach, if anything ever happened to me, even when I go to college, take care of my two sisters. I never dreamed that he was talking about this. Another victim, 17-year-old Kiki Smith, set to attend the University of Alabama. She ran on the track team but was recently injured, so she took a role as a trainer. She uh, just had pulled ACL and couldn't, couldn't run track, so she just came to help out. 
also killed Marcia Collins, a 19-year-old aspiring musician who took a gap year headed to Louisiana State in the fall, and Corbin Holston, a 23-year-old from Dadeville. Lord, we pray that you would be with their parents, that they would be able to comfort them. A small town of around 3,000 people held an emotional vigil. These children had very bright futures, the ones that I knew from Dateville. Very, very athletic, very uh, humble children, very respectful children, um, smart. He was everything that you would want in a son. He, he always did everything to make me happy. No suspect has been named in the shooting, but police say they have strong leads. Former members of the Fundamentalist LDS Church in Utah are pleading for help in finding their missing children. They gathered outside a Cedar City courthouse Monday to urge police and prosecutors to do more to locate them. Among them, Lorraine Jessup says her kids disappeared one night in February. She and other former members believe the kids are back at the church after imprisoned polygamist leader Warren Jeffs issued an edict last year. It calls for some people who have left the faith to return to the polygamist church and bring their kids with them. Jessup says police are not taking her worry seriously. A particular officer that was assigned to my case said that, well, he asked me if I think they could be with FLDS people, and I said yes. So he said he felt like that if they were with FLDS people, that they were safe. <laughs> I know, I, it was so hard to take. I, I finally told him, I said, who is to say that they are safe? Utah Attorney General Sean Reyes says his office is monitoring the situation closely. An Ohio family is sounding the alarm in hopes of saving lives after a teenager died trying to compete, uh, complete a challenge on TikTok, taking large amounts of Benadryl. And now his family wants to change the law. ABC's Lionel Moise explains. This morning, new warnings about the Benadryl challenge on TikTok after the death of a 13-year-old in Ohio. I'm going to do everything I can to try to make sure another child doesn't go through it. In the dangerous stunt, users take 12 to 14 pills of the antihistamine Benadryl in hopes of hallucinating. Jacob Stevens tried it with friends filming, but instead of hallucinating, his body started seizing. And they kind of just all come at one time and it was too much for his body. The family sharing this graphic image of Jacob in the hospital so others can see firsthand what the challenge did to him. The worst day of my life. He was on a ventilator for six days before doctors determined he would never wake up. No brain scan. There was nothing there. He said we could keep him on the vent. You know, he could lay there like that, but he will never open his eyes. He will never breathe on his own. Breathe on He'll his own. Do anything like smile. that. Smile. He'll never walk, talk. The FDA has warned about the challenge, saying it can lead to serious heart problems, seizures, coma, or even death, and has encouraged parents to lock up the drug. A search for the challenge on TikTok today shows no videos, instead directing you to a resource page with info on substance abuse. As for Jacob's family, they're now pushing lawmakers to impose age restrictions on medications like Benadryl. It's my life goal to to make that happen I'll, I'll i'll go at it till till i die jacob will be laid to rest tomorrow those who knew him say he put a smile on the faces of those around him jason valentine returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast ah some early morning sunshine for most of our areas this morning but we do have some scattered showers some winds to talk about a lot going on here tuesday i'll get you prepared my first alert weather forecast coming right up Plus, a fire crew helps out a traveling baseball team after their bus catches fire and leaves them stranded far from home. Smoke City for Less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roof and Replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. With the rain and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and Replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. There's no other word quite like home. Because it's more than any specific place. It could be in the team spirit that keeps your heart pounding the whole drive over the mountains. It could be in the friendships that make you able to laugh at yourself. 
It's a feeling, a belonging, and that's really different for everyone. So while we can't define what home is to you, what we can do is help you get there. Find your way home in a new Subaru from McCurley Subaru. I had just turned 37 and I found a lump by the time that I had it checked out and was able to get in and see a doctor and all that, I'd, I was at stage three. Part of the reason I think that I didn't go get it checked out right away is that I was really scared. When I got the call, it was gone. It was such a huge relief. Even if you don't feel that it's in you, that you have a lump or you have a reason to get checked, you are a woman, get checked. In the market for an RV? Do not buy any RV before you shop Clickin' RV. Because Clickin' RV has just acquired over 300 2022 fifth wheels, travel trailers, toy haulers, and motorhomes. And everyone is just $199 over invoice. And take advantage of zero down, no payments for 90 days, and low interest financing. Plus guaranteed lowest price and lifetime warranty. So don't miss the Clickin' RV Do Not Buy sale. Going on now at all five locations, including right here in Pasco. We've been married for 47 years. Because we're in the building business, I would say what's been really unique about Yakima Federal is the integrity and the trust that we built with them. If they don't have the answer, they get the answer for you. Their friendliness and their willingness to work with you. It's just a very friendly relationship. Not being a number, you got real people you can walk in and talk to. Absolutely fantastic. I'm David, and my wife Teresa, and we've been a customer of Yakima Federal since we moved to Yakima 30 years ago. Floor scuffs, tears, and nasty scratches. Forget them for good with Ruby Sliders, the chair leg covers that stretch to fit most chairs and make floor marks a thing of the past. Slide it here, slide it there, slide it anywhere. Just slip them on and keep your floors looking like new. They fit any size or shape furniture leg and glide effortlessly. Forget flimsy felt pads and caps that don't fit. Just stretch it on and slide it. Call or click now to get Ruby Sliders for as low as 99 cents with free shipping. A college baseball team from Boston had to take a detour in Maryland Sunday after their bus caught fire. Jeez. These Fisher College players were on their way home from a tournament when the fire broke out. Thankfully, they were able to get out safely. And instead of having to wait on the side of the road for hours until a new bus arrived, the White Marsh Volunteer Fire Company invited the team to come back to the station with them. The team was able to get some rest there and even shoot some hoops. A few hours later, their new bus arrived and they were back on the road to Boston. Very nice. Being really nice. Yes, exactly. Yes. Hopefully that little barbecue as well. Well, I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Yeah. All right, folks, your first alert weather forecast will get you ready for your Tuesday. That's coming up right after the break. And a major bill meant to reduce restrictions on police chases has reached a critical point in the legislative process. That's next on Good Morning Northwest. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $2,100 off on a new Dykin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Whether you're looking for your next house plant, getting those spring flowers in the ground, or planting your dream garden landscape, Queensgate Gardens is the place to go. Queensgate Gardens in Richland. Let's grow together. Pure Filtration Products is your Inland Northwest air quality specialist. We offer filtration products for all your commercial, industrial, and manufacturing needs. From cooling towers to industrial dust collection systems, commercial buildings, schools, hospitals, or manufacturing facilities, we have you covered. Call today and schedule your free facility site evaluation. We'll send a certified air filter specialist to your site to evaluate your filter requirements. Call or click today. Pure Filtration Products. Hi, I need new tires. Perfect timing. Right now, during our tire savings event, when you buy three tires, you get the fourth for only a dollar. Wow, that's a great deal. Right? Can you imagine finding a tire for less? Sorry, honey. Mama needs a tire. No, definitely not. No. Let's get you those tires. Okay. Right now, during our tire savings event, buy three tires and get the fourth for only a dollar. 
Toyota Service Centers. Keep your Toyota a Toyota. Come shop the largest selection of RVs in the Tri-Cities at Appleway RV. See big on Class A's, Class C's, travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels. Shop America's top brands, Rockwood, Tiffin, Newmar, Dynamax, and more with a huge selection of pre-owned RVs. Plus, get maximum value for your trade, all with no payments for 90 days. Come shop the clearance event at Appleway RV Pasco. This is a town called Basic. It's pretty hard to stand out around here. But if you pull up in a 2023 Nissan Rogue, you'll stand out before your feet even hit the pavement. Can you make mine look like that? Anything but Basic. The 2023 Nissan Rogue. Get a low $3.99 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% financing for 36 months on select models. You work hard for your money, and now you can get up to $1,200 back on state taxes you already paid with the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. This newscast sponsored by wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. Now, Cap Cave View First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Tuesday morning, everyone. Hope you had a nice Monday yesterday. Nice morning so far. Yes, we got a return of scattered showers, but much less and less frequent than we saw last night. You could even see some wet roads this morning as you're heading out. 15 to 25 mile per hour winds. We're starting to see it slowly get windier, and we'll especially see it in our afternoon to early evening. Then it will wane overnight. And that chilly April continues. My goodness, what a chilly month we've had. So Skywatch Radar, all the precipitation from last night has moved off into the east. And we're looking at nice conditions. We should see some sunshine this morning. But as we move on into our afternoon hours, we're going to see just small little cells of showers possibly coming to your area. And that's going to continue into our evening hours with maybe a bit of a heavier cell coming into Pendleton. But as we get into our overnight period, things will clear up mostly yet again. But we could see a little bit more cells coming tomorrow afternoon and into the evening hours. And then finally, we'll see some clearing as we get into Thursday, at least Thursday morning. So folks, just a little bit of scattered showers, but nothing like we saw last night. So that freeze warning continues for the Ellensburg, Yakima areas until 9 a.m. this morning. It's been extended to Thursday as well, Thursday morning. So Wednesday and Thursday from 2 a.m. to 9 a.m. And again, this is a alert for agricultural workers to protect their crops in case they can get damaged during a freeze. We're seeing just a little warmer temperatures than expected for Yakima this morning, which is good news. Right around 33, we're at 28 in Ellensburg. Other than that, lower 40s to upper 30s for the rest of our areas. Temperature trend now today, the average for the Tri-Cities is 67. We expect 57. So across the board, we're around 10 miles cooler than we expect for this time of year. We'll steadily warm up into our weekend, hopefully get a little bit over our average as we get to our weekend. Of course, we always keep a close eye on your conditions for your weekend. We're starting to see those winds start to kick up. 21 in Connell, 17 for Tri-Cities. 15 to 25 mile per hour winds again, especially in our afternoon and early evening hours. So a little bit of blustery conditions. And then as we move along into our weekend, those winds are going to slow down and uh, pretty much nominal winds as we get to our weekend. So today is tax day. Got to get that postmark by midnight tonight if you haven't done so uh, yet. The NFL draft right here on Cap KVU ABC starts a week from Thursday. Mother's Day, 26 days away. So our highs today, mid uh, 50s for the Yakima Valley, 50 degrees for Ellensburg over in the mid Columbia. We were right in those mid to upper 50s. And in the Blue Mountain region, we're in the mid to lower 50s. Very chilly in Pendleton today. So seven day forecast for Yakima. We slowly start to build up into the 60s and mid 60s by the weekend. So every day we're just going to see a little bit warmer temperatures. Going to see plenty of sunshine, but again, scattered showers possible this afternoon and evening and tomorrow afternoon and evening, but very light if it does come. In the Tri-Cities area, getting back to the 60s tomorrow and then hopefully the lower 70s by the weekend, if not upper 60s. So get ready for a bit of a windy day today, especially in the afternoon, early evening. Scattered showers possible into our evening hours. And again, very light if it does come to your area. Just get ready for a mostly sunny and a bit chilly Tuesday ahead. 
A proposal to loosen the restrictions on when law enforcement officers can begin a car chase is on its way to the governor's desk. With less than a week left in the legislative session, the state Senate signed off on a version of the bill passed by the House of Representatives. This is the bill to make it so that officers can begin a chase based on reasonable suspicion instead of probable cause. It also changes the law so that officers can chase someone if they believe that failing to stop them would be more dangerous than the chase itself. And a proposal to set up more resources for family members of people who go missing is also on its way to the governor. The bill is named in part after four-year-old Lucian Mungia, who disappeared from a Yakima park last fall. His body was found months later. The bill's sponsor says she was inspired to act when she saw the struggle that Lucian's family went through, trying to figure out what steps to take and what to expect in the process. This proposal would direct the state to set up a website, giving family members that type of information. We'll be right back with the morning sprint and a final check on your forecast, but first a look at what's ahead on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, call it a McDonald's makeover. These are our best burgers ever. The fast food giant revamping some of its most famous menu items. In order for McDonald's to really compete, they're going back to basics. The new and improved Big Mac, McDouble, Cheeseburger, and Burgers promising softer buns, caramelized patties cooked with white onions on the grill, meltier cheese, and even extra special sauce. Product, product, product is the name of the game for them so that they can really pull out what they're uniquely good at, which is their heritage. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll show you some of the other big changes happening under those golden arches and tell you which iconic character is about to make a big comeback. With your GMA First Look, I'm Janae Norman, ABC News, New York. Asthma isn't pretty. It's the moment when you realize that a good day is about to become a bad one. But then I remembered that the world is so much bigger than that with Trelogy. Because one dose a day helps keep my asthma symptoms under control. And with three medicines and one inhaler, Trelogy helps improve lung function so I can breathe easier for a full 24 hours. Trelogy won't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden breathing problems. Trelogy contains a medicine that increases risk of hospitalizations and death from asthma problems when used alone. When this medicine is used with an inhaled corticosteroid, like in Trelogy, there is not a significant increased risk of these events. Do not take Trelogy more than prescribed. Trelogy may increase risk of thrush and infections. Get emergency care for serious allergic reactions. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve or gets worse. What a wonderful world. Ask your doctor about once daily Trelogy for asthma because breathing should be beautiful. Now, the morning sprint. Time right now is 6.51. We're going to get to Jason's local forecast in a moment, but first a look at this morning's top stories. We have new information on a shooting that happened at a Circle K in Walla Walla earlier this month. 19-year-old Yahir Malgoza Ochoa has turned himself in to police after allegedly shooting a 20-year-old man in the convenience store parking lot during a fight. Malgoza Ochoa has been booked into the Walla Walla County Jail on charges of attempted murder to drive-by shooting, a minor in possession of a pistol, and carrying a concealed pistol without a permit. You might have seen or even heard a fire in Kennewick yesterday afternoon. Several agencies responded to a large fire in the Tritech Skill Center area uh, in Kennewick, just off of Medaline Avenue. According to the Kennewick Fire Department, the homeowners had natural gas tanks which set off some small explosions. One person was being treated for possible injuries not related to the gas tanks. Officials say the home is a complete loss. A man's body was found floating in the pond at Sarge Hubbard Park in Yakima on Saturday during a fishing event for children. According to the coroner's office, the man is believed to be around 30 years old and may be connected to a missing persons case. The deputy coroner says based on the autopsy, it doesn't appear to be a homicide, but they have to wait on toxicology results to determine the cause of death. This one I'm sending to a different lab, so hopefully within the month compared to three to four months. Authorities say they're not releasing the man's identity until they can find his family and notify them of his death. Authorities are investigating the death of a woman inside the Yakima County Jail. Jail officials say Clarissa Dittenholler 
was arrested on suspicion of second-degree criminal trespassing Friday and was found unresponsive in her cell Sunday night. They say the Yakima Valley Special Investigation Unit is looking into her death and the jail is doing its own internal investigation. According to the deputy coroner, an autopsy found no signs of trauma and they're waiting on toxicology results to determine her cause of death. Governor Jay Inslee visited Yakima yesterday, stopping at Perry Technical Institute to announce new renewable energy projects and speak with students being trained in the kind of jobs needed to support clean energy infrastructure. Inslee also announced two solar energy projects moving forward east of Moxie along Highway 24 in Yakima County. The High Top and Ostria solar projects are expected to provide power to 30,000 homes. They'll also provide hundreds of short-term construction jobs in more than a dozen full-time positions. It is going to be known as one of the most wonderful solar generating uh, installations in the world. And we're going to have Perry uh, graduates working on a whole bunch of these projects. They expect to start construction later this year or early next year and hopefully have one of the projects up and running mid-2025. What if you could get your prescriptions filled while working out all in the same place? Well, Kennewick Gym is doing just that in a partnership with a locally owned pharmacy. Pacific Clinic and Doctors Pharmacy have teamed up for a first-of-its-kind concept in the region. On the first floor of the gym is a telepharmacy. Think of it as a small-scale operation run by a pharmacy tech, but overseen by a pharmacist. They can help you order refills, home delivery or prescription pouches, which organize all your pills so you don't have to. Time and money are the two of the most important things. So if you can come to one place and get your workout and pick up your prescription on your way out, how helpful is that? To see your doctor after you get done with an Aquatus class, amazing. The Pacific Clinic also has a nurse practitioner for general health care, regenerative therapy, and physical therapy. Lions Pool in Yakima will temporarily close next month for improvements. You might remember the April Pools Day event had to be cancelled due to a scheduling conflict with plans to replace the HVAC system. That work was pushed to May. The closure begins May 1st and runs through June 18th for construction and installation of a new air handling and dehumidification system. Yakima County Sheriff's deputies arrested a suspect Friday in the murder of a woman in Moxie. The woman now identified as 63-year-old Santos Gloria Reyes from Yakima. Deputies responded to the 2400 block of Duffield Road for a report of a man who allegedly admitted to killing someone. Officers booked the suspect into the Yakima County Jail on suspicion of murder first degree and concealing a body. Anyone with information about this case should contact Detective Beeler at 509-574-2567 or through Crime Stoppers. All right, folks, on this Thursday, we have some clearing skies after showers throughout many of our areas last night. Those showers could return tonight, but they will be lighter. So keep an eye out for some wet roads this morning. All that shower activity has moved off into the east. Even our friends in Pullman getting a little bit of early snow today. And we're seeing a little more snow going into the Cascades, but our areas this morning looking very nice. So expect some sunshine, though those showers could return as we get to our afternoon to evening. Very scattered, very quick if it does come to your area. So current temperatures, we're still in that freeze warning for Ellensburg and Yakima. Yakima just above that freezing mark. For the rest of our cities, we're in the lower 40s to upper 30s. Uh, Dayton lagging behind as well. So as we move into the rest of our day, we're going to see uh, 50 to 25 mile per hour winds. So do get ready for heavy winds, especially as we get to our afternoon and early evening hours. The winds will slow down. So just get ready for a bit of a blustery Tuesday. Winds will die down as we move along in our week. So as we head into today, we're a touch cooler. We're in the mid 50s for Toppenish Yakima, 50 degrees in Ellensburg. As we move over into the lovely mid-Columbia, again, folks, we're about 10 degrees off our average for this time of year. We're in the mid to upper fit, uh, 50s, and that's pretty much across the board, especially for Pendleton, even more than 10 degrees off of their average for this time of year. So we have been very, very chilly for the entire month of April and at the end of March. So pretty much for our spring season, we do hope to get right around our average temperatures by the weekend and maybe keep some of that heat as we head into our next work week. So folks, for your Tuesday, winds are gonna pick up throughout your day, die down overnight, 15 to 25 mile per hour, highs in the mid to lower 50s and some occasional showers possible. Very quick afternoon, early evening. But folks, more sunshine than not today. Just a little bit brisk out there. Jill.
Thanks for joining us on Good Morning Northwest. GMA is next. Cap KV Local News is back tonight at 5.